<laughs> What's good guys, I'm Singe420 and this is Learning to Proxy Singed. This is a new series that I'm starting that's basically going to be me spectating my own games and giving my insight and my thought process as to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Hopefully you guys can learn something from this and apply it to your own Proxy Singed gameplay. This is the first episode, so please give me feedback in the comments. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see changed, if you learned anything, if you didn't learn anything. I want to know so I can make this better for you guys. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, first thing we're going to get into is the level 1 double proxy. I mean, not level 1 double proxy, the level 1 proxy. And um, I just want to give you guys a few quick lessons on it, alright? A lot of people, and the very few other people that proxy cinch, a lot of them try and start in, in right here. They they try and like run through the jungle, and you know put themselves in unnecessary danger, uh, and try and start here and proxy in these two turrets right here. That is not what you want to do. What you want to do, you want to stand right here. I do it every game. You want to stand right here. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I stand right here, and you're gonna wait till. Uh, one minute, fifteen seconds. You can see, I wait, and then boom, here we go. I'm proxying. Just run it through here. Nobody. Th this is the safest way to level one proxy. All right. And let's see. Nasus here is trying to fuck with me. I ghost because if I didn't ghost there, that Nasus would have beat me up so bad that I wouldn't have been able to uh, finish my proxy or my level one proxy. So it's always worth it to ghost, all right? Always, every single time, okay? Because you will not need ghost until it's back off cooldown. Because it's just you just don't. It's such a, if you take the insight mastery, it's such a short cooldown that if you use, if you use it at level one, it's off cooldown by uh, level four. So here's Hecarim. I'm doing my last wave. Hecarim's at red. I got my ward right here. Uh, so I can see if you know he's gonna come kill me or not. And if you drop your ward right at the edge here, you can actually see, um, you can actually see if they run through here, this this path here, and this path here. Obviously, sometimes what they'll do is they will uh, clear their first Krug here or whatever the fuck that is, and then they'll walk straight through here and come cheesy right here. That sucks. There's not much you can do about it, but usually they're gonna be like level two, so you can usually just flip them in ghosts and just run away. But that's for a different video. Okay, so here I am coming back to lane. First Nasus, uh, you know, I got the cannon pushed my way for me. Still caught the cannon. Um, we got Nasus, you know, and just usually see. I, right now, I know that. Hecarim is topside. Like, I know that in my head right now. He's topside because what are you going to do? He's going to clear his bot side and then he's going to clear his topside. So, you know, it's all about logic and just using your brain. So here I start trying to mess with Nasus. I see he's low on mana. Um, shouldn't really be doing that. It's not a very bright idea. Um, I don't have a ward. But Hex over here. And they're setting up a gank on me. Now watch what I do here. Watch. Watch this, okay? Here I am. I flip them. Het ghosts. I ghost. I run. Let me lock on me. Here, wait, let, let me let me jump that back 15 seconds. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. There you go. Hex coming into gank. Watch what I do. Alright. I flip Nasus. I don't know Hex here. Het ghosts. I ghost. I run. I run away from Hecarim until his little speed dash is down. And remember, Hecarim used Ghost first. So that's what you gotta remember in Ghost v Ghost, alright? Whoever uses Ghost first, loses. Whoever uses Ghost second, usually gets away because you have the longer Ghost duration to outrun them. So you can see I got away from that gank, you know? A, 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 a non, or how do I say it, but... Someone stupid that's not using their brain they would have tried and ran like through these bushes yada 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 and just pretty much just kill themselves all right if you use your brain you know figure out the best path and you'll get away so here i am my tp back and i know that 
I'm pushing really hard right now because I know that Hecarim is um, bot side because, you know, use your brain. What, if he was just top side, where's he going to be next? He's going to be bot side. That's all, all junglers do. They just go back and forth. All right, so let's speed it up. So here, I know Hecarim's top, like I said, so I'm proxying. I know that I'm safe from ganks right now, relatively. And generally... You know, now I know, I dropped the ward, I know Hecarim is coming top, or around top side. So I'm getting a little bit wary. I'm level 6. I'm in a really, really good position right now for a level 1 double proxy. Let me pa I mean not level 1 double proxy, L double proxy, alright? So let me pause it right here, let me show you what's going on, alright? Everyone always asks me, uh, you know, when do I double proxy, when do I proxy, alright? Well look at this, alright? My rule is... 10 and, or 10, 10 and 10, alright? I mean, 5 and 5, my bad. <laughs> you want 5 people, I mean, you want 5 people on your team on the map, and you want 5 people on the enemy team on the map, alright? Or technically it'd be 4, but I just say 5, because, you know, whatever. But, so pretty much, you want top to be top, mid to be mid, bot to be bot. In jungler, it doesn't really matter, because if he comes chase you, he's just going to put you behind, alright? So look at this. Perfect time to double proxy right here. Bots in the lane, mids in the lane, tops in the lane. All right. Now here I am. Let's keep going. I see Hecarim clearing my ward here, and I still run into Proxy because he can't kill me right now. If he wants to run in and chase me, I got ult up. He can't. He, he's got no chance of killing me. He's gonna take like 30 seconds to kill me. So I'm in here, double Proxy in. I'm watching the map. I'm watching Rise. I'm watching bot lane. Just watching Nasus, looking for recalls, looking for fights, and I, I, I see I'm I'm watching the map right here. I look, all right. Let's pause it. I'm about to recall. I see Nasus. I see uh, Rise. I see Bot Lane. So you know what do I do? Cancel my my recall. I can do another one because no one's coming to chase me right now. All right, and then look, here comes Hecarim. He's level 5. I'm level 7. I've been double proxying. I have a huge XP advantage. I flip him over there. You know, get that nice gap. He ghosts, then I ghost. Always let him ghost first. I actually should have held my ghosts a little bit more there. Uh, but that's okay, you know. You live, you learn. I juke the Rise ult. And, you know, just wasting time. Hecarim has no idea what he's doing. I actually kill Hecarim, and I go one for one, alright? If 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 you're if the enemy jungler is just being stupid like that, like a lot of people say, oh don't get kills, don't get kills, whatever, yada yada yada, uh, you know, resets your gold. Now, if you're in the base and they're being stupid like that, go one for one. I mean, who wouldn't? But you know, there we go. I waste so so. What did, what did I gain off that? I did I think one and a half double proxies, and I I killed Hecarim and I wasted Rise's time and I wasted a ton of Hecarim's time while killing him and I got his ghost so all in all amazing double proxy right there okay and meanwhile uh, Hecarim was chasing me look what's happening bot Rise was chasing me look what's happening bot ganks for days team snowballing and this is pretty much how it should be um, alright so let's fast forward. So at this point, um, you know, at this point, I don't really pay attention to where the jungler is because at this point, you should really, it doesn't really matter where the jungler is, you should be strong enough to 2v1 and mess with him or whatever. So I'll just kind of, I'll just kind of proxy no matter what. Once you get past level 6, you can pretty much just proxy anytime and it, it also let me say another thing let me pause actually actually I'm not doing anything we can keep going um you know it depends on the matchup you know I'm versus a Nasus and a Hecarim alright I can proxy that all day that that's almost no threat to me Nasus can't do shit and Hecarim super easy one fling and he can't do anything so you know I'm here I know I can handle Hecarim I know I can handle Nasus if I get ganked so I'm I'm, I'm good right now and then let's pause it again. Pause it again. Ready? Here I go. Double proxy. Nasus top. Rise mid. Just saw a heck mid. I see bot lane at their turret. Perfect. No one's in the base. 
and easy to proxy here. Let's fast forward it. So here I'm taking the CS, taking the wave. Slow it down. I go for a recall here. Rise is MIA. He's taking his time buying, and I get an easy recall out. I see. I see. All right. Wait. Let's jump back 15. Ready? I always start recalling after a double proxy because it look. See, I see TF ping MIA. There's no wave. That lets me know Rise recalled, and I'm gonna fully TP back to base. Get a clean double proxy. No gold or XP given to the enemy team. Janna has to come mid and defend mid turret and waste her time and Lucian and you know Nami are doing whatever a, in a head bot lane does alright so let's keep going All right, we're getting to the point in the game where double proxy is going to be coming more and more and more effective here and that the, the, let me explain it like this: the later th the later you get into the game, the more effective. Uh, how do I how do I word it? Uh, high risk proxies are gonna be, because if if uh, if my team, I mean if the enemy team came and chased me right now, they'd be fucked. But they they'd lose like a mid turret and like a fucking dragon, whatever. They they'd lose so much, because the 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 reward for having the enemy chase you becomes greater the longer the game goes out okay so here I am I'm at the tier 2 again I don't I wait so let me jump it back 15 let me show you guys something here okay so you can see right here Caitlyn's dead alright and in my mind let me pause it right now in my mind I know that Rise is in the base and I know that Caitlyn is coming up alright but look what I do ready I still go double proxy anyway because I know that I I'm strong enough right now to handle Rise and to handle let me pause it again and to handle Caitlyn alright and look look what's my team look what my team's doing alright so so look at it like this Caitlyn Caitlyn's respawning Rises in the base. I know that, so I come double proxy. And I look at my team. My team's pushing a bot turret. There's a fight going on mid. All right. If if the enemy team decides to come chase me right now, they're gonna lose something. They're gonna lose some objectives. And if they don't come chase me, then I get a free double proxy and I recall out and get a ton of gold. So let's see what happens. So there's Caitlyn. They're not coming to chase me. You know, they're they're prioritizing their bot lane turret, which is you know. A smart idea and you know mid lane they're ganking it up mid lane boom easy towers there is no minions and look at me I'm just proxying so heck just died I see rise I see Caitlyn I see Nasus and I don't recall okay because there's no one to come chase me why recall if there's no one's gonna stop me proxy it's just free gold so here we go continuing the proxy Hex coming up soon, and I know that. And I'm purposely staying in the base right now, so you know I could I could I could ult out ghost out right now. But I know I want Hecarim to come chase me right now. I want them all to come chase me. So look what I do. Let's let's go. Ready? Look at this. Here we go. Rizal. Oh shit. You know what? Let, let me jump this back. My bad, guys. All right. Here we go. There I am. Here comes Hack. Here comes Raz. Now I know this. All right. In my mind, I planned this all out. I wanted Hecarim to come chase me, I wanted Janna to come chase me, and I wanted Ryze to come chase me, alright? I want th this was all planned. If you pay attention to the map, what am, what am I doing? I'm paying, t paying attention to the map, paying attention to death timers, and, you know, I I'm, I'm, I'm proxy citizen, dude. I'm wasting it up. Here I go. Ryze ulting. Juke the Ryze ult. They take the ult. I ghost. I ult. And they actually just completely just stop chasing me there, waste a ton of time because they see, ready? You see how they just backed off chasing me right there? They see Lucian pushing down mid right now. So they're like, oh shit, we shouldn't be chasing Singed, and they leave me alone. And I get a Rise ult, I get all their time, I get a mid turret, and I get out for completely free. 
Alright, then I recall. So you see, you see, you see what I'm. Alright, let me fast forward. You see what I mean when I say the longer the game goes, the more effective or, or the higher reward you get from proxies, but also the higher risk because death timers are longer and, um, you know, if, if you don't waste enough time, it's not worth it. All right, so at at this point right now, I'm looking to get Nasus's tower. I really, really want to get his tower because I want to group up. I want to I want to start to look to try and group up and make gangs for my team. But you know, you can see I he's back and I can't really do anything to him. Um, you know, team's being ganks. I look for a TP play. I'm watching the map. Boom, come in here. Drop the slow. And Raz just feeds it, so his team doesn't bat. Bam. So let's jump that back 15. Alright. One more 15. Because I want to I point something out here. So here I am. I'm going to proxy. Just because I'm proxying doesn't mean I'm not going to, like, I'm, I'm not, like, going to make a TPB. But look, I'm proxying. I see Caitlyn there. I know she can't stop my teleport, or she's probably not, not going to. I'm watching the map. And here I come in, right here. Boom. Just because you're practicing doesn't mean you don't make TP plays. TP plays are game changing. And, I mean, whoops. Here I come in, Rise kills himself. Easy. Let's speed it up a bit. I stop Hecarim's recall. You know, just trying to be as annoying and you know, as, as possible. That's, that's really the goal here. Because by wasting Hecarim's recall there, I mean stopping his recall, I pretty much made him take for an extra 15 seconds to get back to the game here, because he's gotta he's gotta find a safe place, he's gotta recall, and then he's gotta actually recall and walk back. So, but and then you know I'm just I'm just pushing. We're just pushing down the mid tower because yeah. Let me show you guys another thing, right? Oh, uh, that sucks. Okay, and we are back. I at nearly the right place. I brought us back a little bit earlier because I wanted to go over something here. Uh, so you see, I just killed Ryze right there, right? So right now, I killed Ryze, Hex low, okay? And I just canceled his recall. So I, I made him take an extra long time to get back to the game. Now we have a numbers advantage right now because Ryze is dead and Hex too low to defend it. So we get, so, what do we do? We push mid. We have a numbers advantage. And Nasus comes in here. He just fucking suicides it. You know, I don't know what he's doing. And we, we pick up an extra kill here. Or we don't. Whoops. Never mind. We don't. But it's okay. We get the tower. Because we have the numbers advantage. It's all about pushing your advantages. Alright. So we get that tower. We leave. And GG easy. Speed it up. So now, at now, I say. So I'm. I'm. L let me pause it right here. Wait. Let me jump back 15. We're, I'm slowly gonna get better at these the more I do them. All right. So let's look at the map here. All right. So as of right now, you can see I was looking to go top lane right there because I I see that wave. I'm like, all right, maybe I should go clear top. But no, because I I know right now that if I go top, there's like I know within the next 30 seconds there's gonna be a fight at dragon because hex here and uh, nami's here and my team's pinging it and it's a water dragon and we already have one water dragon you want to get two water dragons so what I what do I do I say instead of farming you know what I'm gonna go with my team I'm gonna go to dragon and I'm gonna go with my team it's 15 minutes in the game I don't really uh, it's 15 minutes in I'm strong and I don't really need to be practicing right now because I'm so strong I'm better off being with my team. So here I go. Wait, let's, I'm sorry, man. I'll get better at this. So here I go. Nasus, Nasus is top. He doesn't have TP. So we have a numbers advantage at Dragon here. Okay? Let's see what's going on. Rise, pop Zack passive. I ghost. I want to save uh, Zack here. Get the goo flip. Barely save his life. Just barely. And then. Rise just ults out, sadly. Don't get to kill him, but 
he's too low to con contest Dragon. And Hecarim's not here, Kate's not here. So I ping my team, I'm like, hey, let's just take Dragon, all right? Free Water Dragon, it's our second one. Let's just get it. Boom. And what does Nasus do? He gets, he does get my top turret. But a, a second Water Dragon for a top turret is completely worth it, completely. And then, so after that Dragon, I recall, come back to lane here. I do a bit of farming. So now I'm really trying to get Nasus' top tower right now. Really, really trying to get his tower. Because he took mine, and the only lane that's still, like, not pushed is... Fuck, let me jump to 15. Is topside. So, yeah, so I really, like, we need to take top tower right now. Because what, what towers do is they give you, they give you pressure, okay? So... If, if if we're in mid here, okay, we're trying to push mid. Let's say we're trying to push down this inhibitor turret while the top turret is still up. We're, we're going to have a pushing lane all the way up here while we are all the way down here, okay? We can't push here until we push this turret here because if, if we're here and Nasus is over here, that's GG for us. That's GG our turrets. So we can't do that. So let's keep. All right, let's keep going. So we're trying to get this top turret, <laughs> and I'm baiting Nasus with the spam, the laugh. I see Zach's near me. I got Rylas, and I just flip him up. Zach comes in, and we just dive him, and we get a nice easy kill on. Him. Nice. And then, what did me and Zach do? We push the turret. taxes me. I was fucking pissed about that, just, just for the record. And uh, so, I, so alright, let's pause it again right now. So I know Nasus is in the base, Rise's bot. I'm really strong. My whole team is really strong. So what am I doing? I come proxy this right here. It's not so much a proxy, but I set my team up so that we can push this turret right here. And fucking hell, man. I'm so bad at this. One more time, my bad. Alright, so here we go. I come in, I take this wave, because I'm trying to set my team up to be able to get the most uh, objectives as possible while we have a numbers advantage and a, ch a champion advantage. So I push the lane, I'll start blocking the turret. Team's coming in. I'm trying to zone them off the turret so we can get it. Zach initiates. Yeah. Let, let, me, let me show you what I did right here, though. Fast forward it slightly. Okay. So here on my press ult, I get withered. Alright. Let me pause it. I get withered. I know that I cannot run through this corridor right here while I'm withered. Caitlyn will just burn me up. Uh, heck, you know, Nasus will just burn me up. So what do I do? Watch what I do. Oh shit, we didn't quite, we didn't quite get it there. Fucking hell, man. I'm trying to show you guys something. All right, here it comes. Boom. I get withered. I could run in that fight. I kite it back, wait for the wither to run out, and then I run through and regroup with my team. Cause I was in, a, I was separated from my team. That was a very bad spot. But if I ran through here, with when wither was on me, I would have died. All right, let's keep going. So, I'll, we sh so my team, they're pushing. We're just gonna reset off this. Um, I recall. TF and Rise are just split pushing it by. I don't really know what they're doing, but that's okay. So right now, I'm 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 trying to like I'm trying to look for plays on my team because we need to look for a pick so we can take more objectives. That's really uh, what it's about. Well, let's fast forward it. There we go. TF ults give me full vision of the map. Nas is pushing top, I go clear mid, I go clear top, we're just doing some farming, yada yada yada. Push out top. Now watch this, alright, watch this. Alright? I, I I just pushed out top. Ready? I push this wave. Okay? Nasus doesn't have TP, so what do I do now? 
All right. I know, I know, I know. Nasus is gonna come top since I pushed his lane. So what do I do? Look. Ready? I pushed his lane. Now I'm running through the jungle. I'm looking for a pick. I'm looking for a gank on Kate here or Hecarim. And we actually managed to catch Hecarim out here. And I chain CC him with the uh, goo flip. Easy kill. Free kill. Pretty sure we get him here at least. Bam. There we go. Then we get a flip on Nasus. He tries to get a get a little cheeky uh, corner slide there. Doesn't work. And we just got two kills, just like that. And now we have a numbers advantage. We push the turret. And we actually can't push that because we're all low. But if we if we were if we had more HP, we would have pushed it. So we re we reset. I leave my team to die. We reset. I TP in here. Oh wait, let me let me let me fast forward that. Let me jump back 15. Alright, so I recall. Let's watch what's happening here, okay? I'm watching the map. I see there's a ward right there. Two champions right here. Drop my TP. We got Zach right here. Caitlyn flash. Zach gets Kate. Rise is a free kill. And there you go. Easy. It's all it's all about watching the map. When people come come to me on my stream and they're like cinch how can i get out of gold how can i get out of plat you know it's like just watch your map your map is the key to victory all right it is it is the key to victory now right here we killed kate we killed rise so we do baron i mean it's simple you know simple league uh not really worried about the enemy team they can't contest us and slowly but surely get a free baron am I doing oh wait I don't need to recall that's why I didn't recall there so then what do I, I just go I just go run around look for some picks look for some minion waves to clear um, you know I'm just going bot trying to put some pressure uh, while my team because my right right now my team is still like resetting and buying from the Baron and stuff so you know we're chilling I see Nasus top I don't really care because I know TF and Lucian, Lucian are in the base so I'm just like, all right, let's push top lane, uh, let's put some pressure, and Kate actually can't stop me from taking this because I'm so strong. Because uh, if she tried to stop me there, I would have dived her, or I just would have, I would just sort of like just fucked her up real bad. So I get a free tier two. I'm just trolling Kate, easy, 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 getting the farm. Uh, team, team gets a pick on heck here. Uh, you know, then again, you know, I'm giving my team an. You know, it's it's all a lot of it is numbers advantages, okay? Look, I got Caitlyn and Nasus right here defending one turret by themselves. And th this is Diamond 1 guys, by the way. Th they're defending one turret by themselves because Caitlyn can't defend it by herself, so they need they need to send Nasus. So what does that achieve? That puts a 3v4 on all other parts of the map, which gives my team a huge advantage. All right. That's a big part of proxy, and I'm not proxying right now, but I'm still giving my team a numbers advantage. So I'm just trolling them. You see right now, they need two to defend me. Uh, my team got some picks, they're just pushing mid. Uh, really, really easy. And she just intense it. And I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting here trolling. Because my team got a pick, they have a numbers advantage. I don't need to do anything besides defend this turret and keep Nasus top while my team just ends the game because my team has the numbers and then I just fucking walk over here and we end the game pretty much and that was a pretty easy 23 minute win and I actually I only died twice this game so look at that that's how you feed I mean that's how you proxy without feeding. My only death this game was the execute, and I think I died. Yeah, I died once in the base when I went one, one for one with Hecarim. So you see how that works. See, you dying when you proxy is bad. You don't want to die when you proxy. It's good sometimes, but generally, you do not want to feed kills. All right, what am I doing? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, so we don't end the game yet. That's okay. Alright, well, we're just gonna speed it up. We end the game. Very quickly. Boop, 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 boop. I TP in. 
They send Jan in to die because she AFK'd because she's garbage. And we end the game. <laughs> I'm just trolling him up. And I die. And, you know, just pad in the KDA. More deaths, the better, right? And that's pretty much it, guys. It's GG easy. Um, so, let me know. If you made it this far, let me know in the comments. You know, th this is the first episode. I I'm not really... Uh, I know I'm not really the most fluent person, but as I do more of these, I'll get better at them. So, le leave feedback in the comments. Let me know what I could have done better. Uh, what, what would you like to see differently? You know, any feedback. Did you learn anything? Did you not learn anything? You know, anything. I want to know. So it's been an episode, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.